Lindsay here. It's a brand new week with many, many things to do. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into this week, but I know that there's some things that I need to do. I still need to do Audrey's homeschool organization. We've just been doing super basic, like reading, math, and some additional literacy type stuff. Um, but I need to get her science all worked out and get everything organized and all that good stuff so we can start doing that. But today was her very first day of kindergarten and she did so well. We got done in like an hour. It was super quick. Um, she listened. She was quiet. She's super easy to teach. So that's good. Still loving the chair. It's awesome. But um, there are a couple things that we've done in the house. This weekend, um, I got really frustrated and I got sick of trying to look for a new dresser or a dresser at a thrift store. I've looked at the thrift store many, many times. I've been looking on Marketplace and I just didn't find what I needed for my space. Um, so I'll just show you what we've done. This weekend we went to Ikea and we picked up some things. Included in that was a dresser. I also got a couple new dining chairs that already have cat fur on them that's nice i got a couple of these now i wish i had gotten the black instead of the brown but it'll be okay <laughs> this kind of matches our countertops a little bit it's a little off whatever another wood tone in here it's not really gonna hurt it uh, this won't stay this color once I refinish it some someday. Get two of these chairs, and we can go back for more once we move and all that stuff. Ollie just went and threw some eggs, and the dogs are eating their brekkie. But there's also uh, crazy bedding all over the table that I need to pack away because the kids also got new bedding when we were there. We got them duvets and duvet covers. Look at mine, it's real. Do you like it? Is it comfy? Uh, yeah. yeah. So um, now we have, because they both had two like king size. <laughs> we went with twin size because we wanted it to be long enough because they kind of curl up. And this has been perfect for Audrey. Uh, she absolutely loves it. She's sleeping a lot better with the duvet cover but she picked this pretty little butterfly print with the flowers it was 14 dollars for the duvet cover and then we got the more expensive insert because she's going to use it on her bed uh, since it's a twin size she's going to use it on her big girl bed when we move so uh, the insert was 30 dollars and then ollie's the cat's laying on it right now but he got it's a dark blue one all this uh all this really like really dark blue stuff is a big lion is what it looks like but his is a, a twin size two and his came with a red pillow which i don't love but it's one of those really good pillowcases that actually stays on your pillow so they got new bedding and i've got tons of blankets and stuff that now i need to pack away for another day because my bedding area is overloaded. I also have a couple quilts that I need to repair, so I think I'm just gonna pack those away for now and get those in tubs and in my zipper bags because I really don't have time to repair those right now. And I'm also gonna fix up the hallway because we've moved some things around. The cat box is now in the bathroom and she's doing great with it. So we're gonna take that cat cabinet and do away with it because I think it's gonna create a little bit more storage space in the hallway for some things. The dresser that we got, Jason put it together for me and put it in place for me last night. So I would be able to organize it today. But look how perfectly it fits. We did measure. I don't know what this one's called, but I will link it. Um, I'll link it. I know it was $99 and it's got three huge really deep drawers i already put like the baby's stuff that i had hanging up here um but i also have some room on top of it that i could get a couple of these shorter bins and put up here maybe for diapers and things um so i may end up doing that i may end up putting a shelf here 
so it blocks all this stuff and then I have room to put that I think that would be really nice baby gets a drawer Ollie's drawer and Audrey's drawer on the bottom and it's so much more room than these that all their stuff in here will definitely fit over here I also got two sets of these drawer organizers I've had these before I couldn't find the black ones which is what I wanted but they had the white so I'm gonna use these for Ollie and Audrey's drawers and anything I have left over after I do their drawers if I do have anything then I'll use it for the baby's drawer but I got two packs of those they were five dollars for the drawer organizers I also got these um, pillowcases to switch out I had like a random blue and green one on here but I went ahead and got this gray they were $12.99 but it matches the blanket I have on the chair. I went ahead and got that and switched those out. It kind of brightens up the couch a little bit. These things aren't, I don't think they're staying, but we do use them a lot in the living room, so I may find a different place for them. And I think I'm gonna bring most of the homeschool stuff in here and get rid of a lot of this stuff. I almost forgot, but I also picked up one of these rolling carts. Look how precious this is. Colleen sent us this. It was one of the things that I had on my registry, but it's so much cuter in person. Oh, I love it so much. She sent me a whole bunch of little, little care package full of baby things, and I love them all. They're perfect. But they had this gray-green color, which is my favorite color, and I just couldn't leave it there. So I got this rolling cart. I think it's going to end up going in the hallway here. And we will put like diapers and stuff in it and we can move it to the living room or wherever as we need it. So all that to say, I have a lot to do this week and it's time to get started. I even need to switch out the sheets today. Kids got fresh bedding, so it's time for us to get fresh bedding on the beds. That way we're all in sync. I've got it all sitting here, just haven't done it.
It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go It's been so cold Without you here We barely said goodbye before you disappear It's been so cold without you I've realized I only want you I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Okay, I found a few little baby shoes in there, but um, this is all the kids' clothes. Most of these socks have holes in them. I don't know how my son does that, but he's real good at putting holes in stuff. But some of this will be donated. I'll pick out the good stuff, um, and we'll donate all that, and the rest, if they have holes in them, they'll go in the trash. I uh, emptied out this whole dresser, so that's going to go out of here. Uh, and for the drawers, I just figured I'd use one of these for hats. We'll see. We'll put some washcloths and hats maybe. And I've got all this space for burp cloths or blankets or whatever. I've got a couple of onesies in here. And then I've got a onesie set in here. And I don't know what I'm going to use that for yet. And then this is Ollie's drawer. I just put his socks and underwear up top. And then I've got his pants, which he has more, so it'll fill this up. And pajama pants and pajama shorts. And then our summer shorts and swimming stuff. And then Audrey, she has a few. I bought her new pants. <laughs> So her drawer isn't usually this empty, but they're in the wash. So she has some pants that'll go here, but this is all of her pants and shorts. And then this is pajamas. And then this is, you know, socks and underwear. And she still has some space for a few things if she wants to add them. These two things full of baby stuff. And I've got this full of baby stuff. I still have not washed any of these. Um, so right now it has nowhere to go. I found some of Audrey's new clothes. Oh, I guess I gotta get those in the drawer too. I'm a traveling spirit. I've seen many shores. From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya. They treat me like a son anywhere I go. And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how To handle it all on my own On my own Day 2 
of this vlog. Uh, today is Jay's day to be at work, so I really should be working on the pantry, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to, but I need to finish that pantry up. But the hallway is calling my name, like screaming like, hey, come help me. So I'm already super happy with this setup. I did laundry this morning and it was so easy to put the kids stuff away. I didn't have to stuff anything in drawers or anything like that. Um, so that's really nice. And I wish I had done it quite some time ago, but I have decided that if I have time, <laughs> I'm going to get a shelf and put a shelf here. That way I can get some of these bins like this and put them on top because I do have some more storage space, but that'll just keep all the clothes from, you know, being on top of those bins and stuff getting mixed up. And just a little tip, if you have a big lot store close by, these deer foams, these are deer foam slippers, they are so comfortable. I think um, I've seen them for like $25, $30. TJ Maxx sometimes has them for like 17, but Big Lots has them for $10. They have all different styles. I like these with my toes popping out because sometimes my feet get hot, even in the winter time. So, but they are so comfy. They've got a cushion and they've got hard soles. So if you're somebody that walks out on the porch or in the yard with your house shoes, then that might be something you want to look at. But that's the best price I've seen that at. So I picked some up when I went in there. Uh, I guess a few weeks ago I was looking for a dresser that I wasn't able to find. But I'm going to quickly just get this cat cabinet out of here and get all this space back to um, organized chaos. While the spring's still here They don't make haste Cause they know what's coming We try to wash away Our broken years But it's so hard In the cold summer So now I can easily pull these things out and vacuum. I can see the floor. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this out a little bit so she has a place to jump up to that she's used to jumping on for now. But it looks like she likes it. We'll just leave that little shelf open for her. She used to eat on a shelf like this. It was just in this closet over here and I wanted that for all my linens and things so I think this will work out better for her and the good thing is that she can use it and it, even though it's up that high so and I now have storage space for whatever I need it for I've just got all of our extra wipes in the bottom of that now but we'll see what ends up being in there and this thing um, I'll wait till Jay gets home and let him put it on the burn pile or wherever I may just go ahead and pull off all the hinges and the wheels in case I want to use that on a project elsewhere but I mean it's it's in good shape I mean it's sturdy and all but I don't think I'll ever use it again she doesn't like it and she's the last cat I will ever have hopefully cross my fingers <laughs> oh what's she gonna do Good kitty. Trash. Searching for 
something that ain't lost Have we got it? Our lines crossed We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken We fall apart and I won't dare to say Do you feel the same way? things that are going to be donated. I've packed up these things to keep and put in storage so far. And then I have cleaned these four. Um, these are gonna be for our read alouds and just our general reference books and school books. That's what that shelf's for and our science kit there too. Um, I decided to move all of our manipulatives right here from the hallway. Uh, it's got some glue down there, some supplies type stuff too, just cause I don't know if it's gonna stay or not, but it's there. But those are all our manipulatives so we don't have to run to the hallway every time we need something. Um, I use this chalkboard a lot in trying to explain some things. So I think that'll be good to keep in here. That's a Chocola chalkboard. And then down here, I have our books that we do um, daily. It's our literacy and writing and what is it math so there's our daily books there and then in here I have these are my fall books so they're fall and winter read aloud books I like to keep them separately so I don't forget to read them during the season because it's our my very favorite season so I know we'll read those and then in here I have all of our um, beginning reading stuff so it's just little word games and things like that and then up here I have all of the teacher supplies which is really our paint and things I don't want the kids to get in regularly and then they have their own supplies boxes for like scissors markers crayons sharpeners pencils stuff like that so got all that organized very very nicely I have a mess of things on the floor all this is going to be uh, trash or donate. That's a bag of trash that I put together. All of this, I still have to figure out what to do with it. Some of it is uh, donate, and I already know that. This is my heat press that I just need to take to storage. I just haven't done that. These are a few books I'm currently reading. A little sign that I may or may not leave out. And um, a notebook that I jot down things in. I don't want to lose that. So I just need to clean this area and see what I'm going to use it for. I think this is all of our major homeschool stuff. So I just need to look in the hallway and see if there's anything else I want to move. We do use the globe a lot. Um, so I don't know if I want to bring it. I don't think I want to bring it down because I really don't want the kids to have access to it. But... I don't know but I wanted my goal was to get all of these shelves cleaned and minimized today so we're, we're on a good track we got three more shelves to work with and figure out what is gonna go here
this way home and I've really made a mess of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on just like tidying this stuff up. I'm gonna leave what's right there by the door because that's all gotta go out tomorrow. He's gonna help me take it into the donation station. But I'll just show you what we're working with. So still, we've got our homeschool stuff in these three. Um, just a little homage to my grandparents and Jay's grandpa. That's Jay's grandpa's flag. Um, and let's see. I've got empty shelves up here for now. There's my laminator. And I don't know if I want that to stay up there or not. So I am currently waiting to see if what I want on those shelves. I'm going to leave them empty. Um, I do know that these things have to go back on the shelves uh, for now. I need them to go in here, but I just haven't gotten in here and cleaned this stuff out yet. So that's not even on my to-do list, see, but it needs to be done. <laughs> ah, these are all the things that need to be filed in here. Um, these are all the things that should be in my office and uh, I'm moving my office, so I don't know where anything's going right now. And then this, I'll just close it up and put it in the hall until I get it full. And then I will take it to storage. And there's Audrey's toys, so she can just quickly pick those up. I've got a bag of trash and another bag started to donate. Um, and I love this wooden bin, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I could even put blankets in it because it's huge and put it somewhere. But I don't know if that's going to work out. So currently not sure what I'm going to do with these. It might go in the hallway. Who knows where it's going to end up. Love you, Mom. But it's cute. Love you, too. So I haven't done any of these. You see how messy they are. Um, and this stuff just, actually, I need to keep this fan. So it, it's going to go back up somewhere. But that stuff's going to storage. This stuff I haven't gone through. So I'm halfway through my shelves, which was my goal for the day. So didn't get to the pantry, but at least I got to these. Hi there. We're back at it. It's a Monday and um, actually it's already Tuesday. I did not get back to the pantry um, this week and I didn't get a whole lot of organizing done. But um, our shelves look better. It's so much easier to homeschool Audrey with everything organized. So we're doing a little bit better. But my shower, baby shower that was this past weekend. And we had a lot of fun. We had a good time. My niece, Lexi, Cody, come here. My niece, Lexi, planned it for me and threw it for me. And it was about two hours away. So I didn't really invite friends, just kind of family that was in the area down there. Um, Cause I didn't want people to drive want people to drive two hours for a baby shower but we had a lot of fun and I got some things uh, for the baby we're 31 weeks uh, officially I woke up in the middle of the night and I wondered how you always right it gets me Couldn't see what you saw in me. Ooh, na, na, na. But you showed me how to believe. Still gets me. When I look back, I can see you're hiding. Waiting for a moment to stand. I wanted to show you really quickly Audrey's homeschool stuff because I know there are a lot of new homeschoolers and you're not really sure what to do and I think that a lot of people overthink it especially when you are in the lower grades it doesn't really take a whole lot um, 
So I'm just going to show you the curriculum curriculum I use. Some of that is like loosely termed curriculum. My state, uh, the state of Arkansas doesn't really have any testing or anything for homeschoolers. So it's really, um, you know, whatever you want to teach your child. There's even some people that do unschooling, um, more power, but I like to have a little, a little structure and then let them lead me where they want to go also. So if Audrey's super interested in something, then we will look it up and we'll find lessons on it and do some things like that. Otherwise, um, we'll just kind of do our standard stuff. Are you liking school so far? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to show you first uh, the reading because that's kind of what I like to focus on. I was reading very early and I was a big time reader. And now Ollie's a big time reader once it kind of kicked off. Hey, volume, please. You're killing a pig over there in Minecraft. <laughs> it isn't a, oh, well, I guess it is because I dropped big meat. So for reading, I tried this with Ollie and it was not his thing. So I'll show you in a minute what I did with Ollie. But with Audrey so far, we've done the Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. This book's available on eBay, Amazon, kind of everywhere. We've kind of wore it out a little bit. But it just show, slowly takes you, um, you know, lesson by lesson. Well, there's several tasks per lesson. But you read everything in red, and then it'll kind of tell you what activities to do going forward, introducing letters. You can read all this front stuff. It just kind of basically tells you how to, um, how to teach them the sounds and how to teach them to write the things. See, all that's the, the specific writing, but this is reading and writing here. Um, and I do supplement with this because it can get boring and monotonous. Then as she starts reading a little bit more, we will move to this um, Bob book. The Bob Books workbook. I also have the books in one of our little um, latches, but latch boxes. But these are fun. Ollie did a few of them, um, but that's okay. We're going to continue on with these. But they just coordinate to each book. And they're just some additional stuff once she's kind of reading smaller letters or once she's reading smaller words we can start that i also have this workbook it says preschool but it's got a lot of um just letter writing practice and things so we are also picking those out that coordinate with the letters we're learning here and that just is a little bit better for writing instead of her just doing it on her own so it's just some additional things to help her with the sounds these little things are true testaments to how you can homeschool without any curriculum this is how i had to teach ollie how to read because this was best for him so we wrote the letter i introduced the sound of the letter it looks like a very elongated m right now but then we went around the house uh the, oh it's a w ha so I introduced the letter, letter, introduced the sound, and then we went around the house finding things that started with that sound. And he had to find those things. And then I would draw them for him and write them for him. And we would go over each one every single day. And that taught him his letters and letter sounds. Um, the name of the letter is not so important. The sound of the letter is very important. So, yeah, this is how I taught with Ollie, and he absolutely loved it. I used post-its because that's what I had on hand, and colored paper just to make it a little bit more interesting. But some kids learn this way. It's a little bit more hands-on learning just because we're walking around, we're finding the things, and he wasn't one to be taught with a book. So, this was a really good way to do it, and then we moved on to... We moved on to the Bob books, but also we have this game. Once he learned some of the sounds, he could go through and add that and read the word. Like, add this sound to og. D og. Sog. Fog. You know, we would just kind of do that um, with all of the letter sounds and make words. So that was also a good good practice for him and I think this will be good for Audrey too once she really starts reading. We do go heavy on the reading because once they can read 
themselves then they can explore all kinds of books and all kinds of things because I do have a lot of reference books or um, you know picture books dictionaries I have atlases uh, animal atlases children from around the world these are like little sticker books so this is like kind of our geography type things we'll pick a um, we'll pick a country and kind of look in different books to see about like where it is and stories from around the world maybe stories from there we do a little bit of that maybe twice a week in addition to our reading curriculum every day we also do like a read aloud every morning and I'm going to start Little House on the Prairie with her Little House on the Prairie um, there is a there's a free curriculum available I think it's on Teachers Pay Teachers I can't remember where I got it but it kind of takes you through and you do all kinds of activities like baking your own bread and all that stuff so I thought that would be kind of fun for us to do huh? when we start reading that so that's one I like to do that's one we did with Ollie but we also do math every day and I chose Saxon math Ollie liked it too uh, it was a little bit easier for him he he right now is doing a cellus for third grade a cellus academy and uh we're gonna supplement with art and music this year because it's very heavy on the science and math uh it's a stem based school so he's in third grade science and eco ecology this year um lots of science lots of, and he's interested in that so i mean it's perfect for him but I just want to supplement a little bit with art and music because I think those things are very, very important too. We're starting Audrey out with kindergarten math. So far, she kind of already knows a lot of this stuff. But I know that once we get back in the back, she will learn some good things like patterning and stuff like that. Uh, we may have been able to skip kindergarten altogether and go to first grade, but we decided not to. We decided to go ahead and do first or kindergarten for her. First, like this week she's going to be doing a pictograph so that'll be neat about boys and girls see how many boys and how many girls we have in our family and that could be dogs and goats and things too um, so yeah that's our math it uses quite a few of the manipulatives that I have here so I'm just going to keep these out and available and she will learn how to get these out and put them back and finally and usually for art um for art for her i'm going to pick some things out of this mailbox these came from a teacher friend of mine she asked me if i wanted them so i kept a few of them i have some out in storage too for like first and second grade but this has some ideas for learning centers so really it's just a whole lot of games some of them are math um some of them are reading and words so and it teaches them to like cut things out so we're gonna pull some of this out there's a turnip pattern we'll pull some of this out and just give us some extra stuff but there's also a lot of free stuff on teachers pay teachers that i like to use and then our final like formal curriculum is the magic school school bus curriculum and it was absolutely free i bought the school magic school bus dvds even though i think they're on netflix so you don't have to but i chose to because sometimes we have crappy internet and we can't stream things all the time so i chose to go ahead and buy those dvds so we could do our science anytime if i can find this i will link it but it even has the lesson plans and things to prep for each one um see this is the first one going hands-on got everything that you need and it it tells you like what it tells you which uh, tells you which video corresponds to the lesson and the topic so if you wanted to go through here and pick out topics you could absolutely do that um, and then it shows you all the supplies that you'll need for that so if you know that you want to learn about dinosaurs that week then you're gonna need you know all these things and if you don't know what fossils mean then you can go to that page and figure out exactly what that means so this was our cozy den is where this came from but it is free lessons plans for our magic school bus i just went ahead and printed them all out so usually you get an instruction sheet and then a worksheet that goes with it to give to your kid so that's kind of how i think the majority of them 
have the instruction sheet as well as the worksheet. So you could print these front to back if you wanted to. Um, yeah, look, seeds on the move. How can seeds travel? Very, very cool stuff. So that's kind of the basis for um, what I teach in kindergarten. Now we don't do science every day. That's probably twice a week. Um, we do a four day week. Uh, so we'll switch off between science and then our around the globe type stuff. Um, yeah, sometimes we only do science once a week. It depends on the experiment that goes along with it too. Because the apple experiment, for example, takes all week long. So we'll just do one lesson when that happens. But here are the Magic School Bus DVDs. I got these off eBay for like 20 bucks for the whole set. Just because I wanted to actually have them. Um, I'm sure there's some on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it for you. If I can find all of this stuff, I'll just go ahead and link them below in case there's something that you want to pick up. But that's all I have for you this week. I uh, hope that you enjoyed watching. I, it's been so long that I can't even remember everything I recorded for this video. But I know that I got my uh, half of my bookshelf done. I still haven't done the other stuff. But next week will just be a straight cleaning video. Because I just needed a break from the organizing and decluttering. And just to clean this dirty house up. But I want to thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I never Bye. understand how you saw it coming Oh, but I will love you for it all Yeah, I will love you